continuing our theme of saving time with our sales invoice in, in Zero today, I want to talk about item codes, how they can save you time when you're producing your sales invoices. So let's go to Zero and check it out. Okay, let's look at creating a sales invoice. We're going to choose ABC Electrical. Information is already pre-populated because we've set up customer defaults. If you don't know how to do that, there's a video that you can check out. Then we come to the body of the invoice and you might notice that there's a field that says item. We can skip that field and we can just type in what we're billing them. So let's say we're billing them for a Zero Basics workshop. We can simply input that and we can continue creating our invoice. But let's look at another way. If we go to Accounts and select Inventory, this takes us to the Stock section in Zero. Now we can use it for tracking items that we physically hold in stock, but we can also create items that just become a shortcut for entering. And I'll just show you how that's done. So I'm going to create an item code and I'm going to call it XB for Zero Basics Workshop. It's not a physical item held in stock, so I don't tick track this item. I don't purchase it, so I can untick that, but I do want to complete the sales section. If there's a standard selling price, we can input that. If there's not, we can leave it blank. We could select the sales code so that we know that Zero Basics is going to get coded to training and we can put a full description. So we might want to say Zero Basics Full Day Workshop and save. So let's go back and look at creating our sales invoice. Again, we'll select ABC. And this time when we come to the item code, we're going to select XB. And we'll see what happens. The description is completed, the price is completed, and the code is completed. Now, as always, Zero has got flexibility, so you can stick with that. But if you need to change anything, you can do. So let's say we wanted to add a date. We can easily go ahead and do that at this stage. It's as simple as that. That's our invoice completed and just select approve. Job done. Why don't you give it a go? It certainly will help you save time on your sales invoicing. And why don't you subscribe to the channel and check out our other videos? There's five tips for saving time with sales invoices. Have a look at them and see if they will work for you.